Okay, so the first thing, I, the only step I didn't do, Chris, is import from visual, from CAD. Really very easy. If I'm to start from the beginning, I, can, I start here, import, and I go find the CAD file, and import it, and it will look like this. That's the only step I just uh, spare you the, the hassle of doing. Cool? Everybody at this point, can I have thumbs up, guys? Everybody's there. Okay, now, the first thing we need to do, if you guys remember, to work on this project, there are, um, there are a couple of steps that you have to do to work on this. Let me, where's my cheat sheet? Since I've been calling people hostiles and all this good stuff. Now, did you steal my cheat sheet here? A lot ago? Okay. All right, I have. Okay, when we start, when we start visual, the first thing, guys, this is called the background. The first thing we need to do with the background is we're gonna go um, edit. Oops, view. Uh, let me see plan of view. Okay, let me see if I can. Um, well, we're gonna we're gonna turn it we're gonna turn it into gray. We're gonna gray it. So you're going to come over here, Lumineers, uh, let's go to the solid. This is called solid, and this is background. Can you guys highlight, when you go to the background right here, everybody can see the background? The first thing we need to do is what? We're going to make it uneditable. So people like Chris don't go mess around with it. So make it uneditable. So it turns into what? Gray. Cool? Everybody's there? That's step number one you do. Otherwise... When you move things, things start moving around and it will drive you nuts. Okay, so uneditable. Cool. The second step that we know, so now we have an uneditable system. <clears throat> um, I want to remind you guys how this business goes. You come, come over here and you, you oops, um, zoom all and there you go. It, I don't know if you guys remember from the past, here's your zoom all here and there's a couple of zoom window that I'm going to be using. So if I'm going to zoom in this area, here's my zoom window, zoom all, in, out, and uh, zoom previous, and zoom all, if you got confused with these. Okay, the first thing we need to do is we, we have the background set. Now we're going to drop a solid. You guys have this handy in front of you. I'm going to go, I'm going to do it slightly differently this time. It's slightly differently. And I'm going to go to the easy. Let's start with an easy, easy location. Can you guys go here and zoom window on this? The generator room. Let's zoom window in the generator room. Okay, generator room. For the generator room, guys, they want us to use TLED. Uh, let me just uh, show you where we are here, Chad. Let's go back again. Let's go back to my cut sheets. And let's go to design criteria. Okay, Chris, uh, when we go here, uh, uh, zoom, zoom, okay. All right, so let's go back to what the design criteria for that baby is. Can you guys see where, where we are? We are in the generator room. Everybody can see uh, mechanical and electrical generator equipment room. We're going to be using uh, a ceiling of 14. Everybody can see what the size of the ceiling 14 and fixture of what? 12. 14, 12, and we're going to be using TLED. Cool? Can I have thumbs up, Chad? We're going to go build a model 14, 12, 14, 12, root, right? Okay, so let's go 14, 12 here. Let's go back to my model. The way I want to do it this time, guys, I'm going to use the, um, where is my optional? Indoor lighting. I'm going to use, let's go back here. There are two ways of doing it. I'm going to do it this way. Try to do it the easiest way. If you have a square or rectangle, let's use the, the Lumen method. The Lumen method. Cool? Everybody, can you guys give me a thumbs up that we zoomed in this area? Everybody zoomed in this area? Yep. Nick, are you guys there? Yes. Uh, cool. Okay. So let's go. Can you guys go to option? I'm going to do it slightly different. Option. Everybody's up option. Interior lighting. Got that one? When you open interior lighting, can you guys see at the bottom it opens something that's flashing for you right here? Can you guys see that? We're at the bottom. Open it. Everybody can see what I'm looking at right here. Yes, Chad? Okay, cool. So let's go next. All right, now here's where we're going to decide. We're going to decide the length, the width, and the height of the, of the room. Well, we should have done that before we went in there. 
Um, so before we, let's go back because we haven't decided that. So let's go back here and decide the length and the width of the room. We know the height, but we, we want the length and the width. Um, where the heck is the, oh, it doesn't allow you to go now. Okay, let's, show, let's just close out of it, will you? Close out of it. Let's just find the length and the width of this room. And I have, I should have a modified measurement tool here. Uh, where the heck did it go? Uh, tool, tool, here you go, distance. Everybody can see that. Can you exit out of what I told you guys? So get the distance. So I'm gonna grab the distance from right in here and all the way to here. And my distance as I don't know if you guys can see it, it's 60 feet at the bottom. Everybody can see it's 60 feet. Weigh the X right here, 60 feet. Right at the bottom, X is 60 feet. All right, so I have 60 feet from here. You can put yourself on ortho. Is that ortho? Here you go. So I am looking at 60 feet here. Everybody can see where the X is 60 feet here? Okay, so I have 60 feet here. You don't have to do anything else. Go back to this. Now the Y is uh, 29. Everybody can see the Y 29? Everybody get that? One more time. Let's go here to uh, construct, where was it, under tool, tools, distance. Um, you can adjust your snap, guys, right here into the smallest. And you can put your ortho, everybody can see the ortho here. Put yourself on ortho and go grab this area here to the best of your ability. You're not under oath. And we are sitting at close to 60. Let's just say 60, right? From here and from right here is uh, 29, 60, 29. And don't sweat it too hard, just to the, to the closest foot. So I'm sitting at 60, 29 here. Write it down, will you? So I'm looking at this one is 60 times 29. Cool? 60 times 29. Everybody got 60, 29. So let's go, now we know what the height is. So let's go back again to interior. Perfect, click on here, next. Can I have thumbs up that we're here, Chad? Okay, so what was the length? 60. What was the width? 29. What was the height? The height of the structure. What was the height of the structure? The height of the structure, Chad, is giving you guys 40. 40. So I created a box of 60 by 29 by 40. Cool? Everybody's uh, okay with this? All right. Now reflection. Standard of reflection or commercial or heavy industrial. Can you guys, we're not commercial, we're light industrial, heavy industrial with your, so pick the light, we're in the mechanical room. So it's not heavy really, it's light industrial. So grab light industrial. It gets you the reflection that you need to go by. Everybody got that light industrial? All the area that we're going to do, guys, the manufacturing mechanical room, we're going to call them light industrial. Um, not too bad. Cool. Can I have thumbs up? Everybody's there. Cool. Now, next. Go to next. Next, we need the calculation zone. Remember that working plan? Now, in the mechanical room, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put, you have two options, either two and a half or zero. I'm going to put them, I'm going to put in the mechanical, and everything is a two and a half because the equipment are going to be around there. So, Make two and a half is better, by the way. Which one is better? Two and a half gives you more light. There's equipment, switch gear. I want to put it at two and a half. Cool. Uh, do I have a um, so leave it as is? Do I have um, a ceiling two by four here? No, the mechanical room is open ceiling, so we don't have. So we're going to go grab open ceiling. Can you guys say grab open ceiling? Can I have thumbs up, Chad? We got it. Open ceiling two and a half. Yes, sir. Oh, mounting mounting height to the fixture. Thank you. Mounting height to the fixture. Unless you change the mounting height, it will assume it's recess. So what's the mounting height for me? Thank you. 12. I'm going to suspend them. So I'm going to put my mounting height 12. Everybody got the mounting height, so I'm lowering them two feet. Can I have thumbs up, Chad? We got it. Cool. Okay. Next. Okay, the next is now we're going to, we're going to have the photo, photometric file. Now... Which one am I going to be using? The photometric file is the, is the, uh, the tricky one. If you guys see, um, Andrew is giving us two LED. Okay, so can you guys go grab right here from, please? Grab it from here. And now you're going to go all the way. It defaults you to the software, uh, the ones that came with the software. Go to your desktop. 
And um, okay, why can't I see my? We're gonna go to my computer, my desktop. Um, okay, we're gonna go to the network. Can you guys go to the network in yours? Oops. Okay, let's see if we can go. My computer. I want to go to my desktop. Why can't I see him in my desktop? Chad. Okay. Uh, education. Everybody can see, guys. Can send you to the desktop. Why can't I send to the desktop? Were you able to go to network? I'm trying to go to network. Okay. If you can't go to the network, I can't see why it doesn't give us the cut sheet. Piece of cake. Um, just cancel out of this process. Are you guys all here? You're all here. They just minimize the whole system. If it allows me to, we might have to go. Now I think we lost it. No, it's, it didn't lose it. It's right here. See, there's two windows open for you. Can you see it? There's two windows guys open for you. This one and this one. Everybody guys there? Okay. Right here or right here. There's two windows should be open. Right? It's there. What I'm trying to do, guys, I'm trying to go put them on my desktop so I can grab them. So let's go here. Um, everybody knows where the icon that gets you into your network. Um, so let's go back. You go back out of this software into this. Can you grab the IES files? Just right click on them, copy them, and go dump them into your desktop if you can. Doesn't allow us. Okay, I can I can maneuver it to my desktop. I don't know how. Here's my desktop, and I'm going to go right here and drop them into my desktop. Can you guys give me a thumbs up if you were able to drop them into your desktop? Just put them in your desktop, right? Whatever method you jump in. Okay, cool. Everybody is put them in desktop. I don't know why the shortcut is not showing. Um, Dustin, you guys were able to? Uh, Tao? Okay. Rob? So we're in the desktop. Go back to here. So let's go to where we are. Everybody has this view, guys. There are two views. This one and this one. So let's go grab the photometric file. It defaults you to these. You're going to go all the way and into your desktop. Desktop. Now you should see the IES files that we copied. Everybody can see the IES files that we copied? Okay, now which one of these we're going to be using? So it says um, TLED. <clears throat> uh, it's um, two strip. Which one is, is this one? That will be TR. Which one of them? Uh, no, I'm, I apologize. This is, I'm not familiar with these. The, so it's going to be TRLED 150 watt uh, downlight, uh, downlight, uh, I beam. No, not these. It's going to be one of these. Um, TRLT, TLED, or two, I'm sorry, two LED. Um, am I, okay, what downlight, downlight, downlight? That's the hmm. catalog number. I wish I had the two RED two by two, uh, one three watt LED downlight. I think this is one. Okay. Uh, LED. Okay. Everybody's at that one, guys. No. Let me know, Phil, when you're there. Two by two. It's a two by two. It's two by, we need, oops. No, I don't want this one. If you made a mistake and you went, we go back. We need two by four, you're right. This two by two, two by four. Um, okay, so that sounds LED, two RT, two by four. That's good enough for me. Uh, downlight, okay. I think this is the one that we should use there. Um, okay, everybody's at the second one, guys. No, Phil, where are you? Okay, copying the files. 
Okay, I think this is two strip. Is that the? Can anybody check the? Uh, while we're waiting for um, my friend, let me see if I can go back into my cut sheet and look at the cut sheets. I should have looked at the cut sheet, but uh, learning calculation cut sheets. Okay, which one is criteria two by four? This is the one that we're trying to pick here. Two by four. Let me look at the cut sheet for it. Okay, what the heck is it here? Okay. All right, so what does it say? Combine LED technology, construction, optical, intended for what? High efficiency, long life. Okay, superior quality, high efficiency. Anybody can see? General ambient lighting. That's good enough for me. Um, but it's a recess. Is it a recess? They don't make it at all. They don't make it at all. So that's... So, and you probably assume that... We're going to make it bendant. Assume for the sake of the calculation. Recessed, yep, it says recessed. Let me look at the other one, if any one of them is uh, pendant. The same thing, two by two. Okay, for the sake of staying with Re with Trismo, guys, let's just use it. Um, so that's, that's good enough for now. Okay, are you good there? Knowing that it could, it, it might not be coming in, uh, in um, suspended. All right, did you guys pick it up, Every, the second one? Ashley and Tao, did you guys pick it up? So now when you pick it up, open it. So now we have the fixture that I want. Uh, coefficient of value 0.75 tick. So what's the um, lighting loss factor? I need, um, okay, light loss factor. Light loss factor, if you guys click on this one. Um, fluorescent, none of them is fluorescent. See that we don't have even, um, Okay, let's assume light loss factor. We always assume this one for fluorescent 81, guys. Um, light loss factor. Let's put an 85 this time because it's. I really don't know if it's going to be that one. Let's put 85 for an LED, light loss factor. Um, no, it should be. 12.9. 85 is good enough. Okay. For your project, put it 0.9. How about that? If you guys find anything else, I, we can adjust this one. Making a yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Um, 0 0.85, 0 0.9, we're interested in the process. So, because we went higher than the than what they are allowing here. No, it's actually standard incandescent. It We didn't pick one of the parabolic lenses, surface. We're using LEDs, guys, so they're not an option here. Okay, so let's just for the sake of it, standardize 85. What else do we need here? Um, rotation. Oh, 0.85. One of us is awake. Okay, 0.85. Thank you. 0.85 because of. Uh, okay, 0.85. Cool. Everybody's there. Let's go to next. Next, guys, the foot candle. The foot candle for this project. The foot candle. Where is, you guys have the. What was the foot candle for this area? Huh? Lamp luminaire one input. Take the fifty. Take the default. Yep. Take the default. Take the default. What was? Can you guys tell me what's the? What did we say for foot candle in this area? I misplaced my. Thirty foot candle. Thirty foot candle. Thank you. It's a 30 foot candle. So put the 30 foot candle. Okay. And here's the layout of your fixtures. 30 foot candles. Here's the, th the layout of your fixture. 30 foot candles. Any question guys? All LEDs. A lot of them. So cool. Building the room for you. Now, yeah. Look, look. Let me just. Yeah. It's building the room and the calculation zone and the fixture all in one. You don't have to do that. Hold your horses. <laughs> I'm doing it the fastest, supposed to be the fastest way, guys. Okay. Any question about this? 
if you want to go back and change this one, I'll ask, I'll email, uh, what's his name, uh, Andrew, see about the light loss factor is 0.85 or 0.9 or whatever. So we go here. Okay, shall we go next? Here's your calculation, here's your calculation zone, and I'm going to go finish. When you say finish, it will drop it right here. Can you guys see it? You're holding it in your hand. So what you need to do is you're going to go slightly gently, go just place it right at the top of the, the equipment. There you go. So now you have the calculation zone. Beautiful. Everything is calculated for you. Uh, if you guys go here, view, and if you see the 3D view here, uh, the bar, and bring the 3D view bar, and here's your fixtures already calculated for you. One more time. To, to see the 3D, guys, if you guys go view and go to the 3D uh, bar, okay? Everybody can see that this is your calculation. Cool. <clears throat> can I have thumbs up that, well, yes, Chad, we reached this. See how easy that is? You don't have to play, place them. And Okay, now we need to name. Before we move out of it, we dropped it, guys. We need to name it, like exactly like you said. Before I go ahead, can I have thumbs up from your team, guys? You're good. Uh, Tao and Ashley, you guys are good. Uh, Jackson, did you guys drop something? Um, made a mistake. Made a mistake, no problem. Highlighted, delete, start over. Really not a big deal. Dustin, good. Uh, Nick, you're good. Okay. So the second thing I want to do, guys, can you see where property is? I'm going to go rename things. Click on this, and I'm going to go highlight and the whole thing. It becomes red, right click on it. Now, when you right click on it, it gives you the following. I care less about the background. I want the zone. Do you guys see where it says the name of the zone? What was the name of this room? Gen room. Gen room. Right? Is that what we named it, Chris? Is that the generator room? The generator room, right? This is the generator room. Cool. Name it generator room. Go to the solid. The solid. It says room right now. The same thing. I'm going to name it. Okay, let's go back. Start over here. Highlight. Come. See where it says property here, right here. Right. Okay, click on it. And box. Click on one corner all the way and box everything in. Cool. Okay, now it becomes red. When, you, when it becomes red, right click now. Right click. It opens the property for you. Can I have thumbs up, guys? That everybody open the property for you. Okay, then you're going to go to background, leave it alone. We care less. Uh, zone, we're going to name the zone Gen. Gen, oops, where am I here? We're going to name the zone Gen, Gen Room. And you're going to name the Lumineer, leave them alone. Here's all my Lumineer. I'm going to name my solid, which is the room. I'm going to call it again uh, Gen Room, right? Gen, Gen Room. Okay, now... general I'm typing too fast okay cool and exit can I have thumbs up guys you named the the calculation zone as well as the as the cal calculation zone as well as the solid here's my calculation zone here's my solid okay um, calculation uh, calculation uh, statistics calculation statistics can you guys see the calculation statistics let's go run one more time if you guys go calculation calculation statistics can you click on statistics so you can see the statistics and I want you to run the calculation now run calculation I think it should okay now it's populated all this area and do I have the rooms Lumineer where's my zone that I named Chad oops it should it should give me the calculation zone uh room and lumineer why can't i see my calculation zone though all right let's let's go to property here click on this right click um there's a generator showing the generator solid as gen uh, Lumineers, calculation zone work, uh, calculation zone, 
my solid is the generator. Okay, makes sense. The solid calculation zone still working plane. Can I can I change this one into gen room and see if I can see the calculation here coming? Yes, there you go. Um, okay, I see what the so it's showing the gen room. Do me a favor. We should name after we run the calculation, not before. After we run the calculation, we should name. Let's do another example. When you rename it, now it's the generator rule. Don't worry about what this baby is telling you here. We care less about it anymore. What, what we're interested in the gen rule calculation. Can I have thumbs up, guys, that everybody was able to have a calculation that says gen rule? Average 32, I'm asking for, for 30, Chris. You can uh, let go with two. Maximum, minimum, this is the best that you can do. This, guys, this method will make it easier for you instead of doing it by hand. You can just place them, rename, but here's what I discovered. When you rename the calculation zone, rename after you run the calculation. Let's do one more example. <clears throat> one more example. <clears throat> okay, zoom off. Any question, guys, about this area? Any question? Should we do one more area? One more area? Let's do one more area. Let's do one more area. Okay. Can I have thumbs up, guys, that we're cool so far? We're cool? Let's do the mechanical room to, because it's easier, and then we'll go to a harder one. Click on to the mechanical room. Oops. Zoom all, Chad. I'm going to zoom window and click here and open. Zoom into this area. One more time, zoom window, and I'm going to just zoom into this mechanical room. Can you guys zoom into the mechanical room, please, like this? Can I have a thumbs up when everybody zoomed into the mechanical room? Yes? Okay. Ashley and Tao. William. You guys zooming into the mechanical room? Let's do one more example. In the mechanical room, and I'm picking the areas that's easy. I'll tell you the harder ones how to do it. Dustin, you guys good? Nick? Yes. Okay. Let's go do it for the mechanical room. Start over one more time. The first thing, now we're going to do it the proper way. Um, the first time we're going to do, guys, we're going to go and find um, tool distance. The first, I'm going to do the mechanical room distance. I'm going to go just to the best of your ability. Uh, try to find the distance to the best foot. Now, this is 40. Everybody can see it's 40. So I'm going to go to mechanical room. <clears throat> My mechanical room is actually 40. All right, so 40 by what, Chad? So I'm going to come down here and 40 by by uh, by 20. 40 by 20, right? 40 by 20. So it's 40 by 20. Any question about that, guys? The first thing you do is find the dimension of that room. Can I have thumbs up that we got it 40 by 20, Chad? One more time. You come over here, uh, where was it, Chad? Tool, distance, and click to the best of your ability on this area. I have 40, and you go down, and you look at this, you have almost 19 and a half, and I'm not going to fight with you if you put 20. Okay? It's actually almost 19 and a half. Let's put, okay, let's put it to the best, let's put it to the best 20. 40 by 20. Can I have thumbs up that we're good? Cool. All right. Now next, let's go to tools. Tools. Interior. We're going to start over. Interior. Now we will open another window for you, William. Click on it. Next. Um, now here's the dimension that we left. These are the dimension that we left before. I need to modify this one to 40 by, what was it again? 40 by uh, 20. Thank you. And what was the height for this room? The height for this room, the mechanical room, the same thing, guys, 14. And the reflectance, look how nice it is. It keeps it keep the reflectance from before, didn't it? Reflectance, let's go grab a reflectance of um, um, light industrial. Here's my reflectance light industrial. Can you have thumbs up that, Chad, we put the dimension, we put the height, we put the reflectance for this mechanical room? Yes, no? Am I going too fast? No? Too slow? Okay, next. Now next, the calculation zone. There will be mechanical equipment here. I'm going to be able to look guys at gears and all the stuff. 
Leave that two and a half. Um, now, I don't have open space, open ceiling, so I don't have a, a grid. Everybody, uh, and the height, the height for this area also 12, so I'm suspending them two feet. Cool? Next, the fixture, it defaults, um, Phil, it defaults you to the same fixture. Am I using the same fixture here based on this? Yeah. So that's, if you were not, uh, who am I going to pick? Rob. If you're not using this fixture, what do you do? You click on this and go find the IES file for that particular fixture. We picked one that's easy. We're using the same fixture, so leave it. Okay, um, based on uh, Chad Kennedy told you guys, it's the life loss factor is 0.85, good enough. Um, everything else stays the same, right? Did we, did we change anything else here? That stays the same. We're not tilting or rotating, next. Here is the layout, Ashley. Um, Chris, I don't have my. How many how many foot candles do we need in the mechanical room, guys? Can you, Chris, please verify it? Um, in the mechanical. 30, 30 again. Okay, so we hit the jackpot. We have 30 again. Here is the fixtures that we need. How many fixtures? Now, the height. Did they change the height here? Where was the place where I changed the height of the fixture? Yep, the height is okay. So I have. Yep, so good. Next, here's my calculation finished. When I finish, now I'm holding my calculation right in here, guys. I want to go grab it and uh, drag it right in here. Click here and click on the other end. There you go. Here's my calculation for the second room. Let's zoom all so we can see the whole big picture. Here's my calculation for the second room. Can I have thumbs up that you guys have done it? Rob? Drop that, guys. Nick, drop that. Uh, Dustin. <clears throat> okay. Now, here's a mistake that we did before. We did not do the calculation. So what I want you to do, guys, before you start naming, can I get you to do the calc again? So all what we have to do, let me zoom into the area that I was in so I can see it. I'm going to zoom into this area, and I'm going to go hit calc. Can you guys see that one here? Hit calc. It will calculate the system for you. So it's calculating. Perfect. Now we calculated. Okay. Now the second, now everybody hit calc. Can I have thumbs up that we, we hit calc, Chad? Cool. All right. When we hit calc now, I want to go rename things so they can have a unique name. So go property, click on property, and to the best of your ability, guys, go window on the area that you want to name, just the area you want to name. Can you see how I, I, I care less about this area. It's done already. So I just went and highlight. Let me do it. This is the most confusing part. Property and click anywhere here. And you, anything inside this window, Chris, will be actually highlighted. So right click and then right click. Now it will give me, I know for a fact, this is that room that I just installed. So what do you guys think this room is going to be? Leave, leave the room. Mechanical room, right? And I'm going to go here, right click on it, copy, copy the lingo because I spell wrong. Then I'm going to go to calculation zone. Right here, the same thing, right click, paste it. So here's a mechanical room calculation and mechanical room solid. Can I have thumbs up that, Chad, we got mechanical room calculation, mechanical room zone. And when you're done, <clears throat> hit OK. Now you should be able to see the mechanical room calculation. I did rename the solids. One more time. Well, let's go check. I thought I did. Uh, click here. Oops. Um, I'm going to go right here and click on this in this area. Now I have two calculations on. Right click on it. Uh, solid. Where is solid? Solid. Oh. Why didn't the solid? Did I name the solid? No. Okay. Horse webbing. Okay. I named the solid now. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, but the mechanical room is here, and uh, and the generator room is here. Uh, here's my gen. Here's my mechanical. That's the most important thing, guys. I end up with 35 here. Be it. Um, any question? Todd, yeah. When when you go down and it says lumen method. Yeah, lumen method. Don't worry about that one. This, these lumen years. Yeah, don't worry about that. This is just coming from the Lumen method. When we when we go into the schedule, we'll delete. 
what I'm interested in these areas that I'm inserting. Guys, this is to make it just easier so you don't guess. If you want to go back to the, the way we did them, draw your solid, drop your picture, do, that's fine too, like we did in the commercial project. <clears throat> let me see why this is, uh, let me look at my 3D view. Uh, view, 3D, 3D view. Okay, here you go. Here's my 3D view. They're suspended. Okay. Cool. Any question guys about this? Now this is if you're if you're if you have a rectangle or a square. If your area is not a rectangle or not a square, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do one example and you guys wanna do the rest. If it's rectangle or square, you're done. So make sure you name the solid. Um, if you're in doubt, go always, guys. Go here and drag the whole area that I did. Right click on it. Let me see if I, I have, here's my solid. So far I have a generator and I have a mechanical room. Done. Good. How about calculation? I have two zones, one gen and one mechanical. Done. Always, before you guys leave, make sure you have the calc named and the solid named. <clears throat> so we're good. All right. Now let's go to an area, guys, that doesn't have, um, it's not an, an exact rectangle or, or circular. Let's look at this area here. I'm going to go do this. Okay, I'm going to do this area. I'm going to do the computer room. I'm going to do the computer room. Everybody's okay with the computer room? Now, the problem with the computer room, guys, it has a little little stuff, a little niche here, right? So what I'm going to assume, here's, here's the easiest way of doing it. We're going to do it in two pieces and then readjust them. There's no way around it. First, I'm going to take, here's how I would do that. I'm going to take this area as a square uh, rectangle, right? This area here, and do my calculation based on this area. Then I'm going to put, do this area here. <clears throat> cool. Drop the fixtures. When I drop the fixture, then I'm going to delete the solid. I'm going to delete the calculation zone and then create a new solid and a new calculation zone. So that's, <laughs> that's the best that this method can do to you. Okay? You can. Yeah, hallway. Either yeah. Way you get the light yeah. Yeah. So that's uh, that's what we're gonna do. Let's just go since we've done that, guys. Do me a favor. Let's go do the measure the distance now. I'm gonna go distance from here. I'm gonna go from here to here. What was the area? Uh, Forty-two. And don't sweat it too hard. Computer. This is computer room, right, Chris? Mm -hmm. Computer hazardous office. Where the heck is a computer room? Um, the data it's the data center it's called data center um so i'm i'm looking at what's the at 42 42 this side and this side is um 40 40 by 42 cool i have a box 40 by 42 cool approximately don't sweat it too hard if it's up by a foot it's not we're not gonna um lose it okay let's go quick now and do it tools let's go tools interior and i'm going to go now open the oops now open this chat next all right so what's the dimension the dimension is this time is 42 42 by uh 40. you guys change what's the height of the ceiling oh now this is the ceiling is nine and the fixture is nine can you guys change this one and reflectance is actually commercial I use commercial for this one because it's a it's computer room. It's uh, suspended ceiling, uh, clean. It's not like the mechanical room. Cool. So I picked the commercial reflection for it, 42 by 40 by 9. Cool. Can I have a thumbs up, Chad? Cool. We understand it. You're wasting your time. It's audible. The ceiling height is right here from the sheet. Everybody can see that sheet, guys? <clears throat> computer room or data. Next. It will default you, uh, Nick, this is the recessed one. Now, these are recessed. It defaults, and it's actually, um, you can pick, It's it has a grid on it, 
You can pick two by two or four by two. I pick two by two because if it's two by two, you can put four by two or two by two in it. Pick this one, it really doesn't matter. Uh, two and a half, yep, next. <clears throat> Chris, uh, okay, what, what else did we change? Oh, the fixture type. Click on this. Now, what fixture type do they need in this area? They need the R, oops, um, they need R, T, L, E, D. Where's R, T, L, E, D? R, T, L, E, D, two by two. I bet you that's it. R, two R, R, T. It's two by four. Let's do, we need, well, you can use either one. Um, R, T, L, E, D. Am I looking at the right one? This is it. So let's use the two by two. <clears throat> We, re we really can use any one of them. Let's use the um, uh, this baby here, will you? Uh, 2R L, uh, T L T L E D. That's right. Am I missing anything here? Help me, guys. T L E D right here. 2R T L E D. Cool. Let's use the two, two by two. We could have used the two by four, too. Okay, we grabbed that baby. Here's a two by two. Now, did we change anything here? Reflectance, loss factor, 0. 0.85, leave it. Um, anything else here? No. Next. Um, okay. What's uh, Chris? What was the foot candle for this area? 50. 50. So they want the foot candle of 50 in this area. So when you click on this, here is the distribution of all your lights in this area. All the fixture that you need in this area. Is that nice? Now, next finish. I want to go drop that baby here. Oops. It's. Uh, I need to. Did I? That's yeah, almost there, huh? I'm gonna go drop that baby right here. Oops, and and click on the other side. Here you go. So I I covered this area. That's not too bad, okay? Before I leave this area, <clears throat> I'm gonna go take that little. I'm not gonna read him yet. I'm gonna take this little net here that I forgot. So let's go measure it. Um, uh, let's go to tools. Measure. I'm going to measure this little area here. So this is uh, 15. Let's say 16 by 16 by uh, 9. 16 by 9. Cool. 16 by 9. Everybody can see I measure this little area, right? It's uh, 15, almost 16 by 9. So I have 16 times 9. Did I do it right? I would probably want to make the uh, width in such a fashion that it didn't place a light 16 from the wall. Yeah. Because it doesn't have a wall. 16 by, what did they say? Yeah, we'll, we'll see what I'm going to do. It. Okay, 16 by 9. Good enough. 16 by 9. Let's go tools. Interior. We're going to repeat the same process now. Uh, it's easy because we have the same fixture, guys. This is 16 this time. And this is nine this time. The same ceiling. Are you guys with me? This, everything is the same except that little niche. So next. And two and a half, nine. Perfect. Uh, we picked the two by two ceiling. Good. And this is the fixture that we're going to continue using. Yep. Here's another four fixtures for you, Chris. And we're going to go drop these babies right in here. There you go. So here's more for, more fixtures. Now that might look like banana here. So you might have to adjust uh, your calculation a little bit. <clears throat> so here's the calculation for this area. Now here's what I would do. If you guys look at the 3D solid of that baby, here's how it looks like, two, like two rooms. The best way to do it is to do the following. Um, Let's go delete the solid. I'm going to hit, can you guys see that? Hit this solid, delete it. Now I deleted the solid. I'm going to go, yep, for both of them. And hit this one, delete it. I deleted the solid for both of them. And I also want to delete one more thing, the calculation zone. Hit this one, delete. I deleted the calculation zone. Hit this one, delete. I deleted the calculation zone on the solid by I lift the fixtures. Now this is where I can start now putting my own solid. Let's go build my solid. Oh, uh, uh, see that little eraser? Click on it. If you hit something and you right click, it will delete. Hit with the eraser. Hit first left click, then right click. 
left click on what you want, the right click. Okay, let's go construct a room. You guys have done this before. Room, construct a room, rectangular, no. Yep, and we're gonna go uh, start from this corner. Am I ortho? Make sure you're ortho and start from one corner here and keep moving. Before you go, guys, this is where you're gonna, this is computer room or data. Data room, so I can rename it immediately, right? Data room. Okay, so I'm gonna start with here and I'm gonna go to this area here and I'm gonna go to this area here and I'm not gonna sweat it too hard if I don't catch all of it here. I'm gonna go to this area here and all the way. And now do I have the height? What was the height of the room guys before? The height nine, right? Nine, everything is nine, right click. And if you can't reach here, right click and it will close it. Now mine is screwy a little bit. Now you have a solid of a complete solid guys, one big room solid of the whole area with the fixtures in it. That's a nice thing, the fixtures are in it. Okay. Now, yes, yes, absolutely. Now, yes, absolutely. Now the fixtures, Chris is saying a very good point is these fixtures are baloney chad here. I would like to move them. Let me zoom into there. Can I do the calculation zone first and then we'll move fixtures? Okay, so let's, if you guys look at this, put yourself in a 3D, any 3D view and then go calculation. Remember how we did that? And calculation zone by surface. Grab the one that says surface and and pick the bottom. And this is where you can name it. What did oops, where did I go, Chad? We're gonna call it data. Data uh what did they call it? Data room? Yeah. Room. Okay, and what's the height, Chris? Two and a half? Right? Uh the height is 2.5 feet. Okay, two by two is good enough for me. And then then click here, right click, and here's your calculation zone that's called data, okay? So I got a calculation zone and I named it. Now before I go and do calculation, guys, it's a good idea, like Chris said, is to go modify the location of these fixtures because they look like crab. Um, so I'm going to go here, zoom into this corner here. Oops, no, not this. I'm going to go zoom into this corner. Okay, and I'm going to modify, I think it's a good idea to go move, <clears throat> grab these four, and um, right click, and I'm going to move them, what happened, I thought I, I didn't select them, okay, grab, I selected, okay, right click, now, now, yep, yeah, and you, now, put your, and now I'm going to just move them one slightly here. Done. See what I did? Let's zoom all. all. Uh, let's zoom again into this area to see what the heck are we doing here. Okay, so that's not too bad. Feel free to adjust them slightly if you want to make them match or whatever. Um, so that's obviously if you have a grid, you have to you have to match the grid. Now the grid is mismatched, but if you have a grid, so Ashley, when when she's hired, most likely the two grids will match. You can go activate and move. The grid will be turned off, guys. When we when we export this to Revit, it will be turned off. So you might have to match them slightly, move them up a little bit. Any question about this? When you're done, all what you have to do now is hit calculate. Now we will calculate based on the new zone and the new solid. The new zone and the new solid. And it will call it, um, Chris, what was it? Data room. And look at this. 50.5. What was my where I was looking for? 50. Not too bad, huh? Any question, guys, about this method? This will make your work easier, I believe. Um, he is monkeying around a little bit with it. If you want to go back, so that's as ugly as it gets. Take, uh, cut them into squares and rectangles. Do what I've done, and you're good to go. Any question? So here's your uh, calculation zone. Your fixtures are here. Um, any question guys about using this method? William, makes sense? Yeah, really easy. Jackson, much easier. I think it's much easier than dropping the fixture and trying to play with it. No, Chad. I know there's a little bit of monkey. Actually, the monkeying here is much easier than starting 
I'm going to drop it two feet off the wall and the monkey around with it where, to get 50. I think this that make the software lay them out for you 90% of the time is good. Then you have to kind of adjust them slightly. Ashley, does it make sense? Okay, so the only time you guys need to construct a room and a calculation zone is only if the room is not rect fully rectangle or fully square. If it's a, a, a fully rectangle or square, you really don't need to do anything. So if you zoom, I'm not going to do the third one. I'm going to let you guys uh, putt around with it. I'm going to go zoom all. So now this, can you guys see this area here? And you're going to do this one for me. When you reach here, if I wear you, I will do this area. I cut it right here, right? This is the majority. Here's one um, um, rectangle. And the second rectangle comes this area here. Cool. Do the calculation, drop them, delete the solid, delete the calculation zone, create a new solid, new calculation zone, and recalculate again. And you might have to press kind of align them a little bit. Piece of cake. Is it possible that if the polar side it will move the wall back here? Yes. Uh, uh, uh. In other words, can you take the whole, that whole area yes. here and then the, push the other stuff away? Delete yes. Yeah, that's a very good point. Is it should I, Chad? It might be a good idea to do it this way. Okay, and then delete uh, this area. Very good point. So, did you guys see that? What if I take the whole area here, and then whatever fixture in this area, lay in this in this area here, <clears throat> delete them. Then, but you still need to delete the solid and do the whole. You're absolutely right. We don't need the walls anyway. When you're done, all what you have to do is delete. delete the walls in order to place the lights. Yeah, but you, you're going to create new walls. You need to. Shall we do that? Okay, I've got a question about the low yeah. scale. Okay. Every time you kick, if you put. It will show them down. Yep. Yeah. Every time you pick the same fixture, it shows again in the luminaire. We're going to delete them. We're, we're only going to leave one. Oh, okay. So it won't delete our fixture. I think. Well, well let me try. Well, it's good point. When we do the luminaire schedule, what my friend's saying is the luminaire schedule right here. Chad, here's a fixture. Oh. But before we delete them, this is what we're going to do, though. If they're the same fixture, I will show you the easiest way of the, let's just name, these two are the same, right? I'm going to call this fixture A, and I'm going to call this uh, fixture B, okay? Even though they are the same, right? I call them fixture A, fixture B, right? Fixture A, fixture B. Get out of here. And then let's do the following. Let's go to property. Uh, which one of them were, let's go to property here. That's how we handle it. Okay, oops, close that one, property. Right click on that one. Okay, so let's go to the fixture, the luminaires. Luminaires, well, these are all the A's, I want to replace them, all the B's, I want to replace them by A's. See what I do? Because I'm going to delete the A's. So they are the same fixture, so grab all these. Can you see how they're all all the bees, I'm going to group them together and, and, and because the same fixture, Chad, I'm going to replace them to A's and OK it. That's it. I replaced all the bees to A's. I kind of cheated the system. Recalculate it. It shouldn't do any difference because the same fixture. OK. And then, then uh, I'm going to go down here. Now B is obsolete, right? Oops. My B fixture now is obsolete because it's already there. I'm going to go delete it. Delete it. Yep. And it's okay. And here's your fixture. It's still there. Did you guys see that? If you are using the same fixture, the Lumen method repeat the same fixture over and over. Big deal. We, we're going to go, if it's the same fixture, give it a name that you know. It's That's a fixture that I need. Wherever that fixture is repeated, switch the fixture to the one that you want and delete the rest of it. That will clean your uh, your your desk or your schedule. Any question, guys? Any question? Is that a lot? A little bit? No, too much. I think what you, what this guys will do you. Um,
Go ahead, guys, and start putzing. I think the Lumen method is the easiest because it allows you by far to drop the things where you want them. There's a little bit of monkeying around with the schedule. Again, when you reach the schedule, guys, um, let's play it like I said. The, if you're, you're going to pick up the picture over and over, it's keep repeating itself. But there's a trick around it. Any question about lighting calculation? Cool? Can you guys, it should be zipped in less than two hours. You should be able to be done with all of them. All the fixtures are there for you guys. I haven't used the fixtures. They're new. All Everything is LEDs. Um, but, you know, we, we're done with one third of the first floor in just two rooms. A lot of the places, guys, is going to be piece of, is going to be piece of cake. Uh, don't worry too hard when you get into this area here. Like, I like Chris's idea, just grab it, the whole area here. Like this area here, do the calculation. And if you have a couple of fixture lie in this area here, guess what you do? Delete them. You might have, you might have to adjust a few things here. Um, the rest of them, look at this, piece of cake, piece of cake. So this is piece of cake, do a piece of cake, all these areas, the stairways piece of cake, all these are rectangles. Um, these are also piece of cake, piece of cake. Look at these, all these little rooms are really straightforward. This area also rectangle, piece of cake. So the only place that you have to do is probably this area here, and then delete it. Just the mechanical floor, then Everything two and a half, the calculation zone, except the hallway is one. Did you guys hear me? Only when you do corridors, the calculation zone is two and a half, except if you're doing a corridor, uh, zero. Yes? Oh, uh, you mean the manufacturing floor? The manufacturing floor, the manufacturing floor, guys, um, I would do them yeah. for visual. Let's talk visual now. For visual, do them here because you have, you can see where the picture are for visual. When we go to Revit, guys, we will import them. Do them here. What you're saying is, should I do it here or should I do it on the... Um, do them do the calculation here and then what we do is when we import them we raise the first floor up to the second floor do them here do the calculation here for the manufacturing floor right in there because the manufacturing floor goes through two two floors first and second any question guys about that visual visual should be piece of cake when we're done a lot of we're going to save it you guys are going to print a bunch of things for chad from this and then we're going to import it back into cad from CAD back into Visual, into Revit, and we're going to raise it up to the right height and start dropping our pictures. I am not aware of any Revit. Now, Rob and anybody you guys for extra credit is going to go find families, um, LED families in Revit. The ones that we have right now, my, my knowledge, they are not LEDs in Revit. Uh, if we couldn't find a family that's LED, big deal. Any two by four, you drop it there. It looks like a, a, a two by four is a two by four. So, but if you guys find a family that's LEDs, that would be great. And grab it. Any question? Okay, go eat. <laughs>